Hey guys, um, this is my wind turbine I built, um, and I'm going to show you how I made it, and right now I just have it standing on a ladder, because I don't have a, I don't have the pull up, um, obviously it's not windy out today, and I just have it in like the part of my yard that's not that windy, because I didn't, I didn't bother to move it yet, but, um, so yeah, let me show you what it looks like. And the special thing is about this wind turbine is that these blades are all recycled. Um, you might not believe me, but these blades right here are actually made from these buckets. So um, I had cut halves from these buckets for another project, but they never worked. So, I looked up about HDPE recycling, which is the type of plastic, and apparently you need to have a number two in the recycling symbol, which it had. So what I tried is I read that I can melt it down, and that's exactly what I did. I melted these down in a, in a, flat, in a flat pan. I melted the halves down. I cut them, obviously, into little pieces, then melted them down. They actually got a liquidy consistency, and then it came out like a flat plate of plastic, and I simply cut the blades out, and these are my results. Not too bad, and they're pretty strong. They're, they're actually hard to bend. I could bend it just a little bit, that's it. And trust me, these things won't break. I mean, if you bend them all the way back, they'll snap if you, like, get them all the way to there. So these are pretty strong. This one's strong, too. And then this one was a little skinny, but it's still, it's still got a ton of strength. I mean, it's very hard to bend this thing. I'm using all my strength here. Um, so yeah, and I had this one, this one worked before when it got windy out, but honestly, these blades are just too skinny. Um, there's not enough torque, so I'll have to try this again and make them wider. Um, and it, and I couldn't really get an airfoil shape, but they are... They're like kind of like a ceiling fan blade, like just drag based, which will work. Those will work fine. Um, they're definitely gonna work. But yeah, I just figured I wanted to show you how the good they came out, and you can see they look pretty darn good, even from the back. A little bumpy, but nothing, nothing that bad. You could just sand this right down. It's not that bad. Um. I could round off the edges with my sander. Um, but honestly, these came out way beyond my expectations. I mean, this is all recycled here. You can melt down milk jugs, anything you want, and make hard plastic items, whatever you need. Um, it's pretty cool. Now, I have got something in the house I want to show you that I also made. Now, this part I made really has no purpose. Um... But I more just did it for fun. All it is is a round cylinder, and I wanted to show you how smooth you can make something. Um, so, let me turn the light on. Uh, this is it. This is a round cylinder. Perfect diameter. Perfect smoothness. It's just perfect. Um, try to get that focus. There we go. Um, you can tell it's hard. There's no way you'll dent this thing. Not even by throwing it at bricks. Dropping a brick on it won't break it. Um, this is strong stuff. So yeah. Um, and I made that out of this. A container. Just melted it down, cut it, well, I cut it up into pieces. Um, see how it says HTP there? That means you can melt it. Um, so I just melted that container down, compressed it into the mold. Came out perfect. I melted it into a coffee, I mean, not a coffee, um, what do you call it? Um, a metal cup thing like this, a measuring cup. Like that. 
and then just had a metal plate on it that compressed it down with clamps. And obviously when I did that, it didn't come out this smooth. I had to sand it down a bit to get it perfect like this. But once I sanded it down, it really, really came out like a strong piece of plastic. And there's almost no cosmetic that. It's just perfect. You can make whatever you want out of this. You can make a big flywheel for something. Next video I make, I'm going to show you how to melt it down and how to do it. And I'll show you it melting in my oven. Um, by the way, this doesn't smell too bad when you melt it. You don't really smell it through the house at all. Um, I tried melting down polypropylene, which is recycling symbol number five. But that one had a little bit of a smell to it. And I thought it might be creating some bad fumes, so I didn't want to melt that down again. And one more thing I made is gears. Whoops. Hang on, guys. The nail just came out, which holds them together. Let me pound that down a bit. There we go. Yeah, so these are being held in with nails. They're pretty much... I don't know if you can see this. Let me put it in the sunlight. They're pretty much friction-free. They don't bind. Um, this was made with the white bucket. And then I simply cut out the teeth with the... With the hacksaw and I used a drill bit. Came out really nice. This was from an old trash can I had that I didn't need. This is LDP, which is lower density, but it's still pretty strong. This one is super strong, so I think I'll stick with the HGP. But these are friction free. I mean, there's no way these are going to bind up. And I'll show you how the teeth look. I cut these out, and what's amazing is that this is all free. This required me zero bucks because I just had these buckets laying around. Um, you can melt down this. Any kind of food containers. As long as it says HGP on them, which you could see. It does. So that's perfect. That'll be my next thing I melt. Um, so yeah, this is perfect. You can make whatever I want. Um, I'm probably rambling on a bit too long, so I think I'm going to close it down from here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video I'll show you how I did it. And have a good day. Um, goodbye.